Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you what I picked up from this recent Black Friday sale, so stick around. So today I thought I would show you what all I picked up from the Black Friday sale that was going on, mostly from Best Buy, a few items from Amazon. Um, I thought it was pretty unusual that Target didn't really have that big of a sale. I know that they were doing the buy two, get one free, which I did participate in that. Um, but you know, usually I remember going into Target for Black Friday and they would have all those cardboard stands with all the different titles at different price ranges. But I do not believe that they did that in my area this year. Um, so let me know if you've seen that in any of your Target stores. Now, some of these titles, um, I got most of these from Best Buy um, the previous week when they had started their sale early. Got some really good deals, filled in some gaps in my collection. So today I thought I'll go ahead and show you what all I got. So these will be from Best Buy from Amazon and also from the Target buy two get one free sale. So first up, I finally got the F9 with the slipcover edition. Um, I did get the still book for this and um, wanted to go ahead and add the 4K. Anytime I get a still book or a digi book, I always want to get the 4K or the Blu-ray that goes along with it just to have it in my collection in case I ever decide down the line that I'm going to sell the still books or sell the digi books. But I really do like the artwork on this. I still haven't had a chance to see it yet. So very nice to have that in the collection. Same way with Snake Eyes. I never did pick Snake Eyes up. I did not get the still book. Um, I didn't hear very many good things about this one. But I did want to go ahead and get the 4K release since I already have the first two G.I. Joes on 4K with the slip. So I went ahead and got this one. I did get the Forever Purge. I still need to get that set that has the other three films in it, maybe four films, um, but Forever Purge. I got a great deal on Don't Breathe 2. Um, when this first came out just a few weeks ago, I got the Blu-ray release with the slipcover because the um, Don't Breathe only came on Blu-ray. So, But since this right here was such a good deal, I ended up taking the Blu-ray back and getting the 4K release. I haven't seen this one yet. Um, I got Mortal Kombat. I got the still book previously, so I wanted to get the slipcover edition. Didn't hear very many good things about this one. Now, one of my all-time favorites, I got the Shawshank Redemption. Um, I did pick up the still book um, when it came out instead of the slipcover edition. So nice to have the slipcover in the collection. Same way with Godzilla vs. Kong. I got the still book release. I didn't get the 4K. So nice to fill the gap with that one. And I got Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. Um, I got the still book releases for this one previously, so I wanted to get the slipcover edition. I did watch this movie when it, when I um, opened the still book. I watched this one. It was okay. It did not live up to the first one. I really enjoyed the first one. This one right here seemed just a little bit too long, um, but I'm still happy to have this one in the collection. Okay, some of the other sales that I got is I picked up The Walking Dead, the complete 10th season. Got a really good deal on this one. I am caught up with all of the Walking Dead episodes. You know, I've been watching these when they started. Um, me and my wife um, watch these weekly as they air. And I have been picking up all the Blu-ray releases for these. So very happy to have that one in the collection. I got the Blu-ray release for um, Spiral. Um, the reason why I got the Blu-ray release on this one is I did pick up the Steelbook. And I think there was a Steelbook. And I picked up the 4K release with a nice green looking slip cover. So this, since this had different artwork on it, I decided I, so I am a collector. So whenever they release a Blu-ray and a 4K and they have different artwork, I do try to get both because I do like the different artwork on each. Um, so I got this one. I got Tom and Jerry the movie. I never did pick this one up. Waited for a good price on this one and it finally dropped. Um, didn't hear very many good things about this one, but I do love animation and live action mixed. Um, so I did pick this one up. And then I picked up Escape Room and Escape Room Tournament of Champions. Um, I haven't really heard very much about this. I do love the art style on both of these, the way that they do complement each other. They look very similar. Um, it looks like a fun movie, so hopefully these will be good. And then I picked up Spirit Untamed, the movie. I never did get this one when it was released. I have heard good things about this animation. 
So I added this one to the collection. And then I got the Crocodile Dundee Trilogy from Target. Um, this is part of the buy two, get one free sale. Um, the other two titles that I ordered with this is um, Jack Frost and Jack Frost 2, the MVD Rewind titles. Um, so, of course, those haven't been released yet, but I did go ahead and get this one. I do enjoy the Crocodile Dundee. Um, I enjoy the first one. I don't really remember very much about the second or the third one, so I went ahead and picked this one up. So those are my pickups from the Black Friday sale. I also ordered from Vinegar Syndrome and from um, Raven Banner. So I'm hoping to get those orders in here soon. And when I do, I'll go ahead and do an unboxing of those. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you purchased from the Black Friday sales, if you got any good deals. Also, let me know some of these other titles that you might have picked up that I didn't get, because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.